Hi, everybody. Well, uh, we're a Knight-funded project. Uh, the Knight Foundation is now focusing a lot of resources on uh, open government. They have given out about one and a half million dollars in the past, and they're now looking to shower some money on open government. So that's good for all of us. If you go to newschallenge.org, you can see uh, their new platform too, which is allows you to participate in our plans. So you'll see. Uh, I'm going to explain to you what this project is, but. I also applied for a new iteration on newschallenge.org along with hundreds of others and there'll ultimately be about 2,500 applications. But um, what Knight is looking for is feedback from people, especially you guys, to, to come and talk about all these things. There's all kinds of uh, platform or, uh, platforms and different things that they're looking at. So um, participatory government budgeting, a lot of the things we're hearing here um, people are working on and Knight is one of those foundations that is looking to fund that. So enough of the plugs there is um, I'm really proud to be a Knight, uh, we're a prototype funded project by Knight Foundation and the prototype is simply um, the ability for you to subscribe to city council documents and minutes and get alerts when government is talking about something you care about. So if you care about a dog park or medical marijuana dispensary or um, bicycle pass, anything you care about, you'll get an alert. If you're a, a government lobbyist or if you're a lobbyist that is, uh, represents autism or, or, or groups that are supporting autism, you'll, you'll get an alert now um, for the region that you care about. So we're um, testing this in the city and county of San Diego and that's where the prototype will be um, developed. But once we get this nationwide, if you're a, a national autism um, lobbyist or, or nonprofit, you would love to know what municipalities are working on autism, for instance. So it's a way for um, all different types of varieties of, of interest to come in and, and monitor what's going on, not just locally in your community, um, but you know nationally. So um, our goal is to develop a, a document repository where once we scrape all the data from the ABC, or from our local state and, or, I'm sorry, once we scrape the data from the city and county websites, we'll put it up in an open repository that'll be available to anyone at no cost. Now that's our model and, and I believe that's going to be proven to be uh, the most successful implementation. Uh, my belief is that there are so many different data mining opportunities that the, the cost of aggregating and, and collecting and storing the data will be f just a drop in the bucket compared to the value uh, both economically and socially uh, of entrepreneurs and and agencies and, and government themselves to be able to use that that data. Now what I'm talking about are city council minutes, documents, things like that, but it's in our new iteration we want to include um, you know planning permits, um, uh, business tax licenses, school board records, all different types of data that um, public safety records, you know calls for service for, for police and fire. And we want to be able to, to give you that data in a, in a uh, ubiquitously <laughs> standardized way. So we, w we would love to be able to get this data and, um, well, well, I'll just leave it at that. Well, we're starting to get the data and we'll get it in, and have it indexed. But we would love to be working with different organizations to start creating standards to standardize the data. You know, it's a, I was saying earlier, it doesn't make sense to uh, get crime statistics from 20 different cities and then not have the ability to, to look at correlations of demographics and, and uh, economic and geographic considerations. But once you find common communities, um, they both usually have unique laws and one law might um, be very good for keeping uh, alcohol out of minors uh, possession. You know, So they, they have a social host ordinance law that may be tremendously successful in one community and a demographically equal community will have a different municipal code where their um, alcohol with, uh, for minors is completely off the charts. Now if I were that municipality and I was an alcohol advocate, I would wanna know that there's another municipality that's working really well. Um, one of the challenges we're facing is that a lot of thousands of municipalities have given their copyright uh, ownership of the documents of their municipal codes to uh, third party outside companies. So um, we're actually having a difficult time, you know, um, learning how we're gonna be able to get that information. So this was often done in the 80s and 90s and it's, um, it's really a tragedy because we're not gonna be able to, to uh, do that 
kind of thing very easily. So, um, so the way it'll work is uh, right now you'll basically put in your keywords and your email address and get an alert. In the future, we're planning on using a document cloud interface, which is document cloud is a night uh, foundation funded project as well. But what it is is basically an interface that lets you uh, see the documents, annotate them, they'll be semantically linked, and then you'll be able to um, see both translated and uh, subtitled, subtitled multimedia content. So I would love to talk with you more about this. I'm out of time. And um, I think it's a really interesting project and we're, we're absolutely looking for uh, your feedback and your uh, collaboration opportunities as well. Thank you. Great, thank you.